Ladies and gents, do I have news for you. Max Verstappen here is on an interview and this we can all relate to here. This guy is melting down. No one has melted down this bad since Phil Mickelson at winged foot. It worked last year. I think what was very clear that it didn't work this year. Um, and it was also, you know, of course, I, you know, I'm frustrated. You want to do the best you can. The team wants to do the best they can. You know, these kind of things, they don't happen on purpose. But at the time, yeah, it is very frustrating because you could have extracted a better result out of it. Now, right here, we've got a defensive Max Verstappen, guys. And you're going to see it unfold a little bit more now, even in his wording in just a few moments. All right. So give me a bit of rope on this one. But the interviewer is asking a fairly easy couple of questions here. He's asking... How was the performance from last year to all of a sudden you're slipping this year? And he's he's trying to ask the ask them easily. He, he you can see he's struggling a little bit, but it's just happening. He's not giving us direct answers. He's not saying that a certain upgrade. Oh well, look, this upgrade it doesn't work, and it was really good in the wind tunnel, but now it actually hits concrete. It's not working for us. Or McLaren seemed to have found this upgrade two races ago, and that's given him the edge. He's not given us clear information here. Now. I think also many times I have praised the team when they've done a good job and that's how we operate. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. It needs to be said. Sometimes maybe, you know, some people think it's very harsh, but that's the way we operate. This is not a personal attack at anyone because at the end of the day, we are a team, you know, and we win and lose together. But yeah, I am quite vocal about it. That's how I operate. And yeah, some people might not appreciate that outside of the team, some viewers or whatever, but yeah, you're, you're not a part of the team. You know, you're, you know, that's that's fine if you don't, Oh, sorry. Uh, he's dead right, guys. You do treat everybody with disrespect, especially your engineer, the guy you're in the trenches with, the guy that you're putting your life in your hands with. You need to trust your engineer like he is God. And I'm not joking, guys. I mean, one error from your engineer. And I know this from my own personal racing experience in my life out there. And you know what? you got to trust this guy with everything. The engineer has got to trust you with everything but of course this guy of course you got to treat him with disrespect on the radio and completely make him look like an idiot yeah and then an engineer comes on in fact how dare you engineer talk back to the guy no and listen guys hey it's okay in fact we should be taking some lessons here because Verstappen is showing disrespect Guys, I think it's actually perfectly okay. We should be going around all our lives, every single day, treat people with complete disrespect. And that's okay because some people will like it, some people won't. That's fine. Hmm, okay. We're, we're learning lessons here. Okay, let's keep going. You know, not everyone needs to agree with everything. Okay, listen, are you all going to have to pull together in the situation you're in? Maybe give up, well, I don't know if it's right there, helmet saying you can't do the sim racing anymore, but are you all going to have to kind of make compromises or push to the get back is, to where you were? The thing is always, these kind of things come up, right? So when you don't win a race, you can always argue what it was. Was it what you ate the, the night before? Or did you go to the toilet before the race? You know, there's always things, your warm-up maybe wasn't right. You're like, I, I don't believe in that, you know, I... I'm a, I'm a three-time world champion. I think I know quite well what I can do and what I cannot do. Um, I've been doing that already for eight, nine years, you know, this kind of stuff. And suddenly now, because you have one race when things didn't work out, then these kind of things get brought up by some... I mean, he's really digging his heels in here now, guys. And look, yeah, they're talking about the sim racing and what kind of commitments he should be making for the team. And he's like, oh, throwing in the three-time world champion, baby. He's throwing in the CV, guys. You know, make sure we don't forget it here. <laughs> he's pissed. He wants everybody to go away, let him do what he wants. And guys, do you know... Even somebody said to me last week, and in case you're thinking I'm having a complete go off him here, somebody said to me, oh, well, he was on the sim last, last week at Hungary until 3 a.m. Number one, I would actually say, in fairness, in his defense, that these guys are so fit, guys, so fit that they need only four, three hours sleep maybe around that mark because they are just ready to go. A lot of people don't realize the fitness levels that you have to have as a race driver and especially for Formula One drivers these days. I mean, it's incredible. Now, on the other hand, let's debate that. If the team do not want you to be using Sims, 
You don't start throwing out, I'm a three-time world champion. Well, I can do what I want. Do you know what you do? You still have a boss, Christian Horner and Helmut Marco. They're your bosses right here, right now. They're paying you a lot of money to be there, my man. And you know what? Shut your mouth and just say, okay, guys, no problem. Could that work? Um, well, for me, it's just like any other day, you know, so for me, it has nothing to do with that. I think I'm professional enough to know, you know, when it's appropriate or not. Um, and we move on from that. You know, you, um, you just have to focus on what's at hand now. We are not the quickest at the moment. We know that. We have a few things to, to figure out in the car. A penalty. Maybe. Yeah, a potential penalty, of course, that we have to, you know, take this weekend, which one. Guys, you know, can you, can you imagine this if you were at work, at your own work, and you got some guy who's thrown out his CV, the, all his accomplishments made, and he can do whatever he wants. Now, look, here, we can debate that now as well. I still would say, you know what? Th th this is not... It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. If Christian Horner and Helmut Marco did not say anything about the Sims, hey, listen, buddy, no more Sims, well, then let him do what he wants because at the end of the day, he's still giving them a result. Even though the last couple of races, he's starting to melt and he's actually making mistakes. So you could pick away at him, but let's just give him that for now. He's still doing the, the job. So you know what? Whatever gets the job done. But now, can you imagine if you had to listen to a guy like this at work, especially when his boss tells him, hey, listen, buddy, no more of that, okay? We're paying you a lot of money. Enough. On your own time, do what you want, but you're coming to work. And this is what it is, guys. They're still racing drivers, and it looks glamorous and everything, yeah, but they're still employees of Red Bull for this year and next year if they sign another contract. They're still getting paid a lot of money. And sponsors don't want to be hearing this either. I mean, this, this, this is on a knife edge here, right? I mean, we're, we're, we're walking on a tightrope in a hurricane here because you never know. If this guy keeps up what he's going on with his crap here, you never know what could happen with sponsors. That's all I'll say, guys. And do we really want to be around people like this in our lives? Should we allow anybody get away with this type of crap he's talking? I'll leave it with you. Walsh running the Irish green, and look at the move he's making down to the inside. He moves to the front with the fifth all the way to the lead in lap one. Walsh takes win number two. Peter. 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 Walsh. 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 Walsh.